Shalom. Shalom. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salute to the elders who rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect. So, the name of the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh. The man in the world ignorantly called God or Jehovah, his name is Yahweh. And his only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, his name is Yahweh Shai. The man in the world ignorantly called Jesus or Yahshua, his name is Yahweh Shai. And you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we are the biblical Israelites. And the so-called white race, they are the biblical red, Hebrew, Edomites. Yeah. And the mark of the beast, it is the Michael Trip. Yeah. Fear the Michael Trip. So this is your brother, Yaramia from Jamaica, GMS Kingston. And you know, I'm here with a lesson last willing it to be here to find. And this one will be called Why is Red Associated with Danger? You know, and it will be explained by the Bible, you know, and here I have an article. You know, stating <clears throat> why is red associated with danger? Explained using science and psychology. Yeah, so you know, we are touch some of these, you know, points in this article and get some scriptures showing you why red is associated with danger. All right. So, red has been used since um, the immoral of. The symbolize um, symbolize love used to symbolize love you know sorry about that yeah so used to symbolize love um, passion heat and fire but red is also um, the traditional color of danger hatred warning and danger you see that so it's the traditional color of anger yeah anger i said danger earlier i'm sorry you know so it's anger hatred warning and danger this association of red with danger has been um exemplified in many ways from ancient to modern time so from ancient to modern time um <coughs> red has been associated with anger hatred and danger you know and some examples that will get listed you know all right so the first one is mars the red planet was so named after the roman god of war yeah and who are the who, 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 who are the romans the edomites the descendants of esau the red hebrew edomites so it's no <coughs> coincidence the red planet was named after a roman god god of war you see that all right so our next one is in the middle ages a red flag was used by worship um to indicate that they would show no mercy see that so a red flag indicates that they're not gonna show no mercy see that so red already had us being negative things attached to it you know danger and what really prompt this you know listen walking out you know to catch a bus this morning see them have a lot of um areas on the road where breakway and them have some red flags put up and some red stick some sticks and them scraped in a red i sure you said danger caution you can't just run up as you feel like take caution because what well, you see a red flag you see a red um stick showing us a warning be careful and i see him when we are one of our people say careful or not running up on the red hebrew either i uh, feel like um he's a set of people for play with you know they are the represent representation of evil up on earth you know wickedness and you know our people a fight for equal rights and a fight for be a part of them and to be loved by them no they was not made to be loved or to love anyone you know they are the dangerous people you know like vice cartel of a song him say when you see me you see danger with a triple x well when you see a edomite you see danger with a triple x especially the the, the higher up upper ones the elites 
of the Edomites. You know, when you see them, when you see the Bill Gates, you're looking at danger. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So he said, no mercy to their enemy. Yeah, so when the red flag get erected, they mean no mercy to them enemy. A red flag was also used by defenders of a town or castle to indicate that they would fight to defend it. The term red, um, uh, the term red alert originated in World War II to de um, designate um, the ice level of alert to prepare for an enemy attack or combat. It was a signal abroad, not aboard um, naval ships, no naval warships, for everyone available to go to battle, battle station as quickly as possible. Since then, since then, red alert has been used as the ice level of emergency or threat in a in several warning systems including the u.s homeland security um advers ad adversary advisory sorry slacker slacker advisory system and british and the british bikini state yeah a red flag is raised in um, automobile races, races if there's a danger to a driver, danger again, you see it? So red, just, asso uh, just being associated with danger, hatred, war, nothing good, you know? So, now walk, so, just a little bit more than this, beard me, beard me. All right, so our next one is a red card is given to a footballer, to a football player, if he has a dangerous, no, if he makes a dangerous play or a ser or seriously violated, violates the rule. Yeah, so if he make a serious play or if he violate the rules, him get a red card, right? Say, oh, you're, you're, you're bad. So you have to get off of the pitch. You know what I mean? All right, so red is used to indicate the highest level of warning or warning of an enemy or terrorist attack. On road, red is international color of stop signs and stop light to warn vehicles to stay way where they are. Red is also used to indicate the highest threat level of natural disasters and catastrophe, cast, catastrophic hazards. A person who is angry is said to see red. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, red, it, it just gets associated with us danger, anger, hatred and the bible tell you why you know so <clears throat> first scripture i'm going to get is let's have punch in red in my search system and see what come up all right so red in the bible search engine and this you know come up um 198 times and the very first one come up is genesis 25 and verse 25 and the first came out red all over like an airy garment and they call his name Esau oh boy so is that a coincidence just punching red in the bible search engine and the first scripture come up is Genesis 25 and 25 I speak about the birth of Esau oh that crooked serpent came out red red you know, they, they compare him to a red eerie garment, a dyed garment, dyed red. So this man come out born in, born red. Yeah, because he's the red father. He's the father of the red Hebrew Edomites. 
Yeah? Yeah, so the next scripture is Genesis 25 and verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Edom, go back to the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red. And the Greek we have saying red, Idumia. So he's the father of the Edomites. And, <clears throat> you know, and the Idumians, which is just saying red. Red in Hebrew, Adawam. And red in Greek, Idumia. So, yeah, he saw Edom. Yeah, so stew alone and get a couple more. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so this is Genesis chapter, no, Revelation chapter uh, 6 and verse 4. And there went out another ass that was red. So, an ass that went out, he was red. And power was given to him that sat thereupon there on to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword and what that, what, what was Esau about right a sword so this red horse received a sword to take peace from the earth and right now what the earth is giving into the hands of the wicked you know let's just get that uh, so this is Job chapter 9 and verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he cover the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he so the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and he cover the faces of the judges who is the wicked let me just get that all right so this is um malachi chapter 1 and verse 4 where as edom said we are impoverished so who is edom the red people so today they call themselves white but they are red hebrew edomites yes so them say them poor impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places thus saith the lord of hosts they shall build but i will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the lord had indignation forever so they are the border of wickedness the edomites the red hebrew edomites the descendants of esau they are the red hebrew edomites you know and you see red done she says danger you know they are better they are so link up so yeah man i did a little program yes sir oh i'm a i'm all right man all right, so the um, next precept we want to get to is Revelation 12 and um, verse um, 3. And there appear another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. See that? A red dragon. The, the Roman Empire. And to the day they are, you know, NATO, EU, you know, that's the Rome that's Rome all over America being the Rome and his allies you know the European Union yeah so you know <clears throat> it's a red dragon because it's what predominantly it let me say it's like yeah it is all Edomites Edomites red Hebrew Edomites so it's a red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head yes yeah, so the red hebrew edomites and that is them you know Esau, uh, edom yeah so you know red is associated with danger and that is why i'm just close with um come reach from the workstation walk towards work and you know, do a walk and talk you know, <clears throat> God's willing some unification come out right. Yeah, so this is Genesis chapter 36 and verse 8. Thus dwell Esau in.